some of the hand exercises uh, include scales for the harp, arpeggios for the harp, different configurations of, of fingering. And on harp, we only use the first four fingers of each hand. So we don't use the little finger because it's a little bit weak. It's much weaker than the other fingers. So an octave, let's say on a piano, if any of the if any of you play piano, is usually with one and five, usually these fingers uh, for an octave. So for harp, the octave is between one and four. So it's a little bit different, but there's a lot of practicing involved, a lot of hand exercises and limbering.